standard window. George, no quiz. <laughs> All right, then, folks. Welcome to another video, and in this video, I'll be taking another look at CNN News, which again is another American news app. We had a look at CBS News, which was very disappointing in you know its own way, and so is CNN. We did have a look at CNN News, I think a few weeks ago, but I lost the video, so we're going to show you the news interface that CNN News has. Before we continue, first things first, subscribe to my channel and like my page. Also subscribe to Turbo Pack channel, which we are sponsoring. They do a lot of car maintenance with their hydro flow treatment. So again, subscribe to their channel so they can keep your car in tip top condition. Now, let's open CNN. Now, even though I've already had a look at this app, I still have forgotten one or two features because again, we have a look at quite a lot of apps. So, but one of the things we look for when we test, you know, these apps on 14 inch touchscreen Chromebooks is whether the whole app interface uses the full touchscreen and it certainly does, which will therefore ensure a pleasant navigation experience. Again, not just for screen reader users, but for everyone as well. We did have an accept button here. Accept and save settings. And it does look as though that there are two accept buttons, which can be very confusing, probably to anyone as well as screen reader users. There's a next button, like a little tutorial. We're going to click done for now, but there is quite a bit of tutorials to this app in comparison to other news apps that we've had a look at. And these buttons do seem quite hard to respond to, so that's another thing that you need to take into account. So, live updates, latest on the coronavirus. Coronavirus has devastated Moscow. Well, I'm wondering whether we did have a look at CNN, unless I'm thinking of CBS, because CNN and CBS are widely American and they are really looked up to and I'm wondering whether I did look at CNN news as opposed to CBS news in that case I probably left lost the original CBS video as opposed to the CNN video luckily we had a look at CBS news yesterday and the video is uploaded to the channel so feel free to look at that we either lost a video or it has been updated one or the two so I'll probably have to have a look on the Play Store but anyway let us crack on now there is a search icon at the bottom of the screen along with the save stories and while that may seem innocent enough icons being at the bottom of the screen can be a little bit risky for Chromebook users because as you probably all know that the launcher status tray and notification icons are in the bottom of the screen also. So again, that can lead you inadvertently clicking on another function outside of the app when you want to click on another of the app's functions. So what is that? At least this news app has a setting section, and again, the CBS news doesn't have such a section, which is very disappointing because it would be nice if you could, you know, customize the text size if desired. Addition International. So, although it's American, it looks as though that it is in the international setup. So you can add your desired areas. Android, 
Android notification, Android notification manage data, data settings, font size default, font size default so you can really adjust your text. Auto play videos over Wi Fi. Oh, auto play videos over Wi Fi. Privacy policy terms add version 6.9. So again, you know, it does have quite a lot of things to it. Now, because it had a video section, let us actually see where these sections are. And they're at the top of the screen. So the fact that you've got sections at the bottom and top of the screen, it would be nice if you had them all in a navigation drawer as opposed to having, you know, us. A section group here and a section group there. So again, what is that? The articles use quite a lot of images, and they use images to represent, you know, their their presence rather. And again, screen reader users are probably going to hear image, image, image over again. It isn't really that bad but again it's more of what you're used to and what you've got to get used to so it's probably not all of a niggle really you got watch TV it should really be watch live but we're gonna click on watch TV in the top right hand corner Watch control explosion destroyed We're just gonna test the TV playback. Now I'm not too sure whether you've noticed or not that this doesn't really go full screen. Now playing controlled explosion destroyed. Now playing controlled explore. And again, when you're watching a video or this TV thing, it says you would have expected that the full screen would go full screen automatically, as opposed to you clicking a video. So what we're going to do is we're going to read an article and we're going to watch a video from the video section. So let's see how articles read in this app. Supporting video, one of 30 in list, 30 items. Oh, okay. So it looks as though that this is a video article. Supporting video, one of supporting video button. Coronavirus. So although it says supporting video, we're going to read the article first and see how that reads. So that uses Ad advertisements coronavirus has supporting video one coronavirus has cf the russian cap cnn russia hit a grim covid 19 mark the russian capital has advertisements web view and again these ad advertisements the russian advertisements advertisements web view in we have a big cup in a video conference meeting on can get in the way advertisements in a video conference at least the article is full screen though and again I think we have seen some apps where the article is partial screen and because this is a supported video let us uh, watch the video Now even though we are not live, it's still using adverts as if we were live and again I haven't really seen a new app that has actually done that. Wow, well, that is that, I would say. Um, but again, you can connect it to your Chromecast, which again, I hadn't really seen that feature until just this moment. 
so that's another handy uh, you know feature in conclusion the CNN news app as opposed to the CBS news app which we've tested is not as disappointing now the CBS news app was sort of like a posh web interface in an app design so again because it was a posh web interface it didn't really look as though it had much to offer and stepped up to the plate unlike this CNN news so the CNN unlike CBS steps up to the plate for a number of reasons first of all you have a settings where you can adjust your font size to you know your desired size which is very good there is a circ section and a home section however that said those sections are at the bottom of the screen meaning that you can inadvertently click on the launcher and status tray icons because again they're also at the bottom of the screen and the video sections are at the top again it would be nice if you know you could actually have a singular menu with everything in so my advice to you is if you want to install either CNN or CBS I strongly advise you go for CNN because that is really alright well I hope you found this video helpful thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos to come and we will see you soon